Hello viewers, welcome to this video. So, in the last video we saw how to use COPS to deploy or to create your Kubernetes cluster in AWS. So, we deployed a version 1.16.0 of Kubernetes in AWS. So, in this video we are going to see how we can upgrade our Kubernetes cluster to a specific version. For example, let's say uh, we want to upgrade our Kubernetes cluster from version 1.16.0 to 1.16.3 for example. A specific version we want to go not to the latest version but to a specific version that we are interested in so that's what we will be doing in this video cops get cluster so the three commands that you need to be aware of are uh, cops edit so we can edit the cluster and specify what version of kubernetes we want and then cops update cluster so that's going to update the cluster cops state and then we're going to perform a rolling update which means it's going to take one node at a time so first it goes with the master node it upgrades the master node to, to the specified kubernetes version and then it goes through goes to the uh, worker nodes and it does the worker nodes it upgrades the worker nodes one by one <coughs> excuse me so you don't have to worry about losing your workloads um, first what it will do is it will drain all the pods that are currently running on that node it waits for the pods to, to be evicted and then it uh, disables that node so no new pods will get scheduled on that node it takes the node offline upgrades the node and then brings the node back online so once it has verified that the node has come up um, and is back in service it will go to the next node and then upgrade the node so that's what we will be doing in this video okay so cops get cluster we have this cluster from our last video and let's do cops edit cluster and you have to specify the name i'm not using minus minus state because i've already exported from my previous video if you say so that's the variable that i've exported so i'm not specifying the cops uh, s3 bucket on every single command but if you if you're not exporting that you will have to specify that you will have to specify minus minus state option to all the cops command all right so cops edit cluster let's edit this cluster okay so kubernetes version there it is kubernetes version i'm going to change that to kubernetes version 3 okay so cops edit cluster is done we've edited the configuration files now we need to update it so still we have the server version is 1.16.0 and if i do kubectl get nodes so all the nodes are in version 1.16.0 so when we update uh, the upgrade here it will go with the master first it always does the master first and then it goes to the worker nodes one by one all right so now cops update cluster so we did the cops edit cluster first cops edit cluster minus minus name so that's the first step and then cops update cluster minus minus yes if you don't pass minus minus yes it won't do anything so cops update cluster it still says the latest version is 1.16.7 but that's okay because we are uh, going with 1.16.3 and once this is done we will look at how to upgrade to the latest version changes may require instance to restart so the next command the third step is to do a rolling update of the cluster so let's do that corpse rolling update cluster minus minus name of the cluster and minus minus yes so when i do that it will take uh, the cluster down it will take the master down so now it says it's evicting the part from uh it's evicting this dns controller part uh, draining the node so that's the master node actually so once it it's done with the master node it goes to the next worker node and then goes to the other worker node and then it will be done all right so this is going to take a while 10 15 minutes and then i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's ready so one thing to bear in mind is at the moment our cluster is just a single master node cluster no high availability so at the moment it's draining our pods on the master node so you won't have access to your cluster so if you're upgrading make sure you have additional master nodes so make sure you have your master nodes deployed on multiple availability zones when you are creating the cluster since this is a demonstration purpose i'm using just one master node to have the uh, to keep the cost low but if you're doing it bear this in mind if you're doing it on a single master node cluster 
you will have to incur a downtime. So now it's doing the master node. At this point, you won't be able to access the API server. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready. All right, so the command completed and um, let's see. Cops validate cluster. Validating cluster, your cluster is ready. So let's do kubectl get nodes. And you can see here the version now is 1.16.3. We've successfully upgraded our cluster from 1.16.0 to 1.16.3. kubectl version minus minus shot 1.16.3. And if I go to my management console here, look at the running instance as you can see, the old three nodes, two worker nodes and one master node has been terminated and the new nodes are actually running now. All right. So now, um, how about upgrading to the latest version? So what we did in the previous step was we edited the cluster configuration, we specified what version of Kubernetes we want, and then we did a Kubernetes, sorry, COPS update, and then COPS rolling update, three-step process. So now we are going to upgrade to whatever the latest version that's uh, supported by this COPS version. Okay, so we know it's 1.16.7, and the uh, thing to do is, you need to run again three set of commands. You don't have to edit your cluster configuration. You can run this command cops upgrade cluster minus minus yes. So the option is cops upgrade and then the second step is cops update and then the third step is cops rolling update. All right. So cops upgrade cluster minus minus name. Yes. So updates applied to the configuration. Now we need to do the update. So first we did the upgrade. Now we are going to do the update. And you can see here, the cluster is moving from 1.16.3 to the latest 1.16.7 at this point. Um, for this version of COPS, so we are running COPS version 1.16.0. For this version, the latest supported version as of recording this video is 1.16.7. We're not specifying any Kubernetes version, so that's the latest version that's supported by this COPS version. Okay, so COPS update cluster minus minus yes so upgrade first and then update and then we will again go through the same process of uh, running the rolling update cops rolling update cluster minus minus name name of the cluster minus minus yes again it's going to take the master node down it will evict the pod it will drain the pods on the master node upgrade the master node and then go to the other worker nodes one by one all right so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's ready. All right, so the command completed and let's take a look. Cops validate cluster, name of the cluster. Your cluster is ready. All right, so kubectl get nodes. And you can see here all the nodes are now on version 1.16.7. kubectl version minus minus shot. We are on version 1.16.7, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hope you liked it. Please uh, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And in the next video, we will see how we can add or remove a node from our Kubernetes cluster. All right, thank you so much for your time watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.